Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be sharing the fall shoe guide. I'm going to be sharing a mix of the best tall boots, short boots, mules, loafers, ballet flats, sneakers, a little mix of everything in this guide to take you all throughout fall with all of your outfits. And I always love sharing one of these every single year. So I have a lot to cover, quite a bit, but I like to review a lot of different styles for you guys for what I do for work. So just keep in mind, I do have quite a bit, but I find them all very comfortable personally. And I'm gonna be going through by category just to make things easier. I'll have it all linked out below in case you guys wanna check any of it out. And we're just gonna get started. Let's start off with loafers. That is one of my current favorite styles of shoes for fall right now is the loafer. I think they're really you know, in the spotlight right now. And I wanted to share a few options for you guys. So the first pair I have right here from Sam Edelman, these come in a quite a few other colors. These are just a traditional loafer they have like the brushed gold detailing on them these are very comfortable these are perfect to wear to you know work make just like a chic everyday outfit even running errands just with some jeans and a nice sweater i think these really elevate and pull together any look and the quality on these is insanely good the comfort is 10 out of 10. Um, they have some padding in the heel area here and a light amount throughout the rest of the shoe and like i said they come in so many colors i will list out my color names below and then if you're looking for a look for less and you want something under the hundred dollar price point these are an amazon find i'll kind of hold them up side by side i mean it's hard because they're not the exact color because i grabbed this in more of a cognac but they have a very similar vibe but of course the quality is just gonna be a little bit more elevated on the sam edelman style but like if you wanted to try out loafers you're not sure you're there you know go with your wardrobe or you're gonna want to gravitate towards them all the time this is a great way to just test out the style shoe and these are amazing so especially if you have girly style i think these are nice as they kind of balance out the look because it gives a little bit more of like a menswear vibe and they're just so classy and very chic Oh, and then the Amazon also do have some padding in the heel, very similar to the Sam Edelman um, craftsmanship, but not, they're not gonna be the same material as quite quality wise, but still a really nice option. Okay, these I got a couple of months ago and I was so excited to see how comfortable these were. These are from Dulce Vita. I got these in the suede and then I also got tried them out in this other material. Now I will say the suede is more comfortable. So if you're going for more comfort, go with the suede and then maybe I would treat these with this suede treatment spray. If you guys have any favorite treatment sprays for shoes, let me know below because you definitely don't wanna get these ruined. So that's the only um, con about them. But otherwise they are gorgeous. And if you just spray them, I think they'll be fine. And they have such a amazing padding the back of the shoe doesn't rub and they're just so classy and so comfortable and I love this neutral color next up are ballet flats I have two pair I'm pretty picky when it comes to ballet flats I find it's very hard to find a really good comfortable pair so these I shared I might have shared these in the last fall shoe guide from last year but um, I believe these are still in stock. I ordered them from Amazon, but they're the Ralph Lauren brand and these are incredibly comfortable. I've worn these quite a few times. They don't even show like that much wear and tear on them and yet they've held up beautifully. They have like the little bow detail with the little gold charm kind of little logos at the bottom of it. The little gold Ralph Lauren logo here on the side, but it's just very subtle and pretty. And these look so flattering on, so beyond comfortable. And then a recent find, I got the C Madden Chanel Look For Less find. And these just literally give off all the Chanel vibes. They are very reminiscent of it. The Chanel ones just have like a little logo here. Otherwise, they're very similar. And these are so comfortable. I did have to size up a half size in these. So especially if you're in between size up a half to almost even a full size, especially if you have a wider width foot. And I just love the beige and the black combo. I think it'll go with so many outfits, especially for work if you have to be out on your feet a long amount of time. Or again, running errands even just with ballet flash jeans and a sweater just makes it look super chic. Okay, next is mules. Mules are probably one of my most worn styles of shoes for fall because they literally just slip on and go and they are very comfortable. You don't have to worry about a back to the shoe rubbing or anything like that. So I just find them to be the ultimate shoe for fall. And I have actually one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of mules to share. So I have an Amazon find, which is like one of my top picks. And let's do 
actually the pair of mules that have had the longest and they would have to be these ones from Sam Edelman. <laughs> I didn't realize actually how many Sam Edelman shoes I had, but these are amazing. I've had these for going on maybe like four years now, four or five years. They've definitely gotten their wear and I love the gold tone and they're just a classic. I've worn these a ton of times and they still from like the top, they look literally brand new, barely any wear to them, even though I've worn them a ton. So I love that look and they're just beyond comfortable. They fit really nicely too, even better than Gucci for me. Gucci was just a little too wide and these fit really nicely. These I've shared a few times. These are a really nice option too. These are lightweight. They're not too chunky or bulky on the foot. And I love this very soft caramel color and they have the gold detailing on them. Just really comfortable. I just love the look of them. They're a softer look. I showed these in last year's shoe guide. So these were another top worn shoe. Got lots of wear out of them and they are very comfortable. Highly recommend. They didn't take hardly any break in time. Okay, these mules are an unexpected favorite of mine. They look like slippers, but you could totally wear them out and about. And these I actually had to repurchase because do not make the mistake I did. I wore these in the rain. I got caught in the rain and I stepped near like mud and water and it was not a good mix and they got totally ruined so definitely don't do that because this material is very delicate so that is a little con of them but they are totally worth it just look at the weather before you head out in these shoes or have like a backup pair in your car and that way in case it does start to randomly start to rain you have a pair to change into but they're so worth it when you do wear them because they are they literally like i said feel like you're in slippers they're so beyond comfortable they have the faux fur inside and they're just so plush and cozy and they're just amazingly dreamy like all the dreamy girly vibes for these and i love the color okay i have a new find and then like one of my top favorite finds so these are new i got these this year at the nordstrom sale and these are with the gold chunky chain i think these are just a classic these are in suede material things come in either leather or suede i find the suede just tends to be a little bit more comfortable because it's a little bit like bendier material and it just like forms to your foot a little bit easier. That's how I find um, it to be. So that's why I do gravitate towards suede a little bit more than leather shoe options. But these are incredible and they come in some leather options if you prefer that. Um, but they have suede leather options and these are um, also in so many different color options as well. Okay, and then these are an Amazon find, very reminiscent of the very first pair of mules that I share with you guys. These are from Amazon, so cute and comfy literally saying everything is comfy but that's truly just it they're very comfortable to wear which is super important and you want know, wear and tear is right under the buckle that rubbed on the material i guess that's what you kind of get for something that's like right around under 50 dollars the materials of course aren't going to be elevated as much as say a sam edelman option but I've had these for a couple of years and they are, they, you can't even tell like the wear and tear is there. Um, and I mean, they're amazing. I love this. It's a, like a little bit more of a blush tone beige, which is a really nice option. So that's why I have so many different ones because you wouldn't believe actually sometimes the tones from different things, say different sweaters that you have on um, different colors. It's nice to have sometimes if you could a variety of a couple different tones of some different styles. So that's why I have this like blush pink option. Next up we have shorter booties. I have three different pairs to show you guys and then the rest are all taller or over the knee. So these right here are a heeled booty. It's short as in the shaft of the shoe, um, but this is a gorgeous heel booty option. I do have a like flatter pair. Um, so definitely don't worry in case you're not into heels, but this is very easy to walk in. So don't let that deter you. I think these, again, suede material, it conforms to your foot and doesn't rub really at all. Um, and they have the inside zipper detail. These look gorgeous with skirts dresses, jeans, you name it. I mean, it's like one of those shoes that's very versatile in your wardrobe. And this color, I feel like is a good option. If you're like not sure what to get, I think this is a nice option. We have this short pair of booties right here. These are super adorable. I love this more like soft mocha color. They have the kind of stretchy elastic here on the side. 
So you kind of just stretch that to get it on. There's a little tab in the back too to make it easy to get on and off. And these are a little bit more of like a casual boot. So great with jeans, like pumpkin patch vibes, apple picking, like all the little fall festivities. I could totally see these boots being worn for that. So I love those. And then probably my top pick of the three are these, this is like a cashew color. I'm like making up all these color names. Um, the cashew colored, you know, chunky heeled booty. So it's a really thick heel, very stable to walk in. Again, this one, like the other I just showed, has the stretchy elastic ribbed kind of look on the side, the tab in the back, and then a pointy toe, which totally elongates you, like makes your legs look like really, really long. And these, again, go with so much jeans, skirts, dresses, all the things, and you can dress these up or down. And I have one pair of cozy boots all on their own, and it is this pair of Uggs I shared over the summertime that I got these. And I have a feeling these are gonna be pretty popular. I thought they were adorable with this little side zipper you could either keep open, it has like a little Ugg logo, or it's just like a little chunky zipper just to give it something a little bit different. And I love this color combo of the cream and this like soft brown color. So it's, if you're a light neutral girly like me, I really love this combo together. So these, of course, Uggs are so comfy. So I love them and I still wear them, especially on those like really cold days, especially going from like fall into winter transitional time those are essential. Okay, tall boots. A lot of these I've worn actually last year. So I'm gonna share some styling of how I pulled it together with a couple different outfits from last year because these have been my staple go-tos and I feel like why not share them in the haul or in the haul, in the, you know, the shoe guide again this year. So um, I wanted to share this pair here. I was so excited that Abercrombie brought these back this year. They're the tall booties, but like, the heel is really not too high. These are amazing. They have held up great. I love the cream color and they styled and pulled together so many looks. They really like elevated everything. So that's why I really liked it. They do have a more squared off front here. And then the heel is a little bit more rounded as well. I might as well share my other pair of like cream colored boots just in case you wanna see a different you know, variety of how something else would look like this with the more brown tone heel. So the other one was tone on tone. This one has the brown heel, has a little bit more dimension to it. Both are super cute and both are equally, I find as comfortable and they don't like sag or anything. I have a more narrow calf and a lot of times with boots, a lot of the ones that don't make the cut are because they're just sag too much or they just don't hold up on my leg. This, the material is sturdy enough to stay up on its own. So it, it doesn't really sag at all. And again, front is a little bit more squared off and the heel, again, don't let that deter you. It makes it super easy to walk in because it's a chunkier heel. Okay, and then something, a well, somewhat similar, but not really. These are more blush pink. I'm not sure how the camera's translating them, but they're more of like a blush nude. And these have like a skinny kind of kitten heel vibe. These are, again, comfortable, these have the pointy toe. So they all have something a little bit different about them. So it really just depends on your style and what you prefer. Um, they all have something really gorgeous about them. So they have the inside zippers. This has like a little piece that stretches right here. I don't find I need to like, I mean, it's nice that it's an option when you're, you know, pulling them all on your leg, but it has that nice stretch option. And then it's just beautifully made. I think these look gorgeous on. Um, they just really are flattering. And these I styled in a couple recent try and hauls. These I got many, many weeks ago actually. And these are in like a mushroom kind of color, chunky heel. And these totally elongate you. They really look good with like burgundy tones or something a little bit. It's like sometimes I don't like to wear like a burgundy dress with like those white boots I just showed you guys are like a cream. It's just like to me a little too stark. So that's why I like to have this like in between like taupe kind of mushroom color just to kind of balance out some of the darker colors for fall. So if you're into wearing dark colors, I would do something on these tones if you didn't want to do black. This is a nice option to balance out some of the darker colors so it's not such a 
stark contrast. Those are really comfortable and easy to walk in. Now over the knee boots, even though I feel like tall boots are a little bit more popular right now, but I still love, you know, an over the knee boot moment personally. So I'm just gonna share them because I personally like to wear them in case you want an option. These are really nice. So I got these from Amazon, they're Steve Madden brand, and these have held up really nicely on my leg. Stuart Weitzman is like one of the only brands originally that would only fit my leg pretty much the right way without it slipping down. And this was the second brand I could find that from what I remember. Um, I feel like it's, I've been like reviewing over knee boots for so long, but this is like the pair I got last year and these have been incredible for staying up on my leg. They're nice quality, they're flat. Um, well, they have like an inch to an inch and a half heel, but I mean, to me, I feel like it doesn't even feel like anything at all. So I love that. And then they also have the back zipper. So super comfy. Love, love, love those. And I loved them so much, I got them in black. And then speaking of black boots, I also have my Stuart Weitzman ones here, just to show you guys, because these are the original over the knee boots that I've gotten like five or six years ago. And they're still going strong. I love them so much. They have little ties on the back, which makes them a little bit different than the other I just showed you guys. And of course, the quality of the Stuart Weitzman is just gonna be top notch. So if you're looking to invest, highly recommend the Stuart Weitzman because they have held up for me for years and years and years. And I have them in taupe and then this black color. I just didn't want to pull them all out, but these are pretty much flat. They're the flattest option of over the knee boots that I own. They literally have like barely an inch heel. So I've worn those when I, in my Victoria's Secret days, when I used to work at Victoria's Secret back in college. And I would wear those like for, eight hour shifts and be walking on my feet the entire time. And, you know, actually sometimes even 12 hours and my feet, even though they would just burn from standing all day, but my, the shoes themselves did not rub or do anything like that. So they were really great when you have to stand on your feet, but yet you want to look chic, like say at work or, um, you know, just even running errands during the fall or, date night or whatever, even if it's not for hours and hours uh, standing, I think they're amazing. Okay, and then I'm putting these in a category of their own, the Birkenstocks. These are super cute. I have to say, I just got these in, so I can't really comment on like too, too much on them other than first impressions. I definitely wanted to include them though, because I just know they're a big favorite amongst so many people. These I got in this rosy pink color and the gold buckle detail. I was gonna get a pair at the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I got them in and I was disappointed in the quality, but these, um, the ones I ordered, I can't remember where I ordered these from, but I will try to find them for you guys. These are amazing. They're really nice uh, first impression wise. They're co very comfortable, very supportive. They have a lot of support in the sole and I feel like they're very well crafted. So these, I feel like are gonna be a good throw on and go shoe just for like casual days. Okay, next category are sneakers. I wear sneakers quite a bit, especially running errands. I just love to wear a good sneaker or if I'm taking a leisurely walk or something like that. They're really, really nice. I'm just tying one of the shoes here just so it looks a little bit better. This is one of the most recent finds and these are so stunning. I have never seen such a girly sneaker as this one. And this is in this gorgeous mauve, rosy pink. So like all the fall and girly vibes for this. They look beyond chic. And I feel like you could wear this with like even a really cute and put together outfit, like a casual dress or jeans or even for travel or like I said, every day. I think these are really nice and they're very comfortable. They're padded inside and the sole. And even the tongue of the shoe has like the blush pink little logo. I think these are absolutely stunning sneakers, which I never thought I would use the word stunning about a sneaker, but here we are. I love these so much. We have a designer look for less. So these are a designer look for less for the Chloe. I shared these maybe in my spring shoe guide and these are gorgeous. They have that like crochet kind of look to them, but I still wanted to include them for fall because I think they're a good neutral and would go again with like the fall athleisure. So these are a really nice option. They do fit true to size. I will warn you guys, they are a little bit heavy. So if you don't like a heavier, bulkier 
chunky sneaker, then skip these. But I personally didn't really mind it. Um, but I just wanted to point that out um, as a little note in case that would bother you. And of course I have to share my Vejas uh, tennis shoes. These are one of my most worn pairs of sneakers. I have worn these a crazy amount of times and they look so good actually. It still looks pretty decent wear and tear wise. Um, but I love the little pink logo. They have like some updated colors for fall, even like a really pretty soft, like cashew color logo. So I'm gonna link a few options for you guys, but they're gorgeous and such a nice chic sneaker. And of course though, I picked the pink, <laughs> like a little candy pink, but I think these still blend really nicely for fall with jeans or athleisure. And then I personally don't follow the no white after Labor Day. So I'm gonna include a crisp white sneaker. So if you're looking for a, a good basic sneaker, gonna go with everything, it's these from Sam Edelman. Surprise, surprise. I actually, now that I'm doing this video, I didn't realize how many Sam Edelman shoes I have. Uh, but these are amazing. And these I have gotten so much wear out of. They have held up really nicely. They're just a good classic option. Um, that's gonna be tried and true and it's gonna go with literally everything, no matter what color you're wearing. It's nice to have a white sneaker. And then for my warm weather girlies that are still in with, you know, if you live say in Southern Florida or like where it's really still warm for fall, I wanna give you guys an option that I think these two options blend really nice with some like warm tone ball color. So if you're looking for a sandal, but that still like would be like this cream, I think would look so nice. Even with like denim shorts and like a crochet knit sweater. Um, these are really nice. They're like a Dior look for less. I love these so much. Already gotten quite a bit of wear out of these. And they have like little Velcro on them. I think these are really nice. The only thing literally missing that would make them look like it's not Dior is like literally, I think Dior has like a logo right here or something. Um, but I did not want to spend the Dior price point. So those were really nice. I did size up half a size in those. I will list out like my sizing, whether I got true to size or sized up. I'll list all that below so you guys can reference back to it. And then I think these Walmart ones, I hope I'm right on this because I just checked recently and I saw these were restocked. But my 3D floor applique sandals, I thought these still gave like a fall vibe. But like if you're looking again for warm weather or even if you're attending a special occasion for fall, I think these are really nice with the 3D applique. And these were pretty comfortable for me. I think they took like one wear to break in, but otherwise really nice. Um, these are, like I said, a Walmart find. These sold out so fast, but I was really excited to see some sizes back in stock. Okay, and then one random thing at the end because these just came in like yesterday. So again, this is just first impressions, but these little Western vibe booties are really cute. So I just wanted to include this in here. So I can't speak on, you know, I haven't worn these yet. Just tried them on, but first impressions are really nice. They have a back zipper. The side V cutout makes it very flattering. And I like the little Western flare to the side of it. Cause I feel like that's really like an it shoe right now is like the cowgirl boots and all the different things. But this is a nice way to like subtly wear it. So that is it for my fall shoe guide. I hope that was helpful for you guys and give this video a thumbs up and comment below any fall emoji if you guys stayed until the end. And let me know what style shoe was your favorite below. Like, are you into mules, loafers, ballet flats, tall boots, over the knee boots? Let me know your favorites below. Um, I think my most worn, like I said, are mules right now and I'm loving all the tall boots. So probably one of my top two favorites. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more super fun fall content coming your way. And I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.